We may soon be able to restore eyesight to the blind, and we have to thank mice. Mice and rats, pests or pets. Either way, these furry friends of ours have helped us advance science to the benefit of millions of people. And I want to talk about three recent research projects that used mice to test ways to cure and reverse blindness. Now, the first study comes to us from researchers at the Johns Hopkins University School of Medicine. And they were specifically studying diabetic retinopathy, which is a condition in which the healthy blood vessels in our eyes get replaced by fragile blood vessels, which fail to provide the nutrients to the photoreceptive cells in our retinas. That's what lets us see light. Now, diabetic retinopathy is the most common eye disease associated with diabetes and is the leading cause of blindness in American adults. The researchers were looking for the root cause of that fragile blood vessel formation. Now, they knew there was a growth factor called VEGF, but they knew there must have been something else too because just blocking VEGF wasn't solving the problem. They discovered the culprit, a protein called angiopoietin-like 4, and by blocking both of those in mice, they were able to halt those fragile blood vessels from forming, keeping those eyes healthy longer. This could be a huge benefit to millions of Americans. Now, for study number two, we move on to a group of Swiss researchers who are looking at ways to reverse photoreceptive degeneration. And they developed an optogenetic approach, a lab-grown protein that they call OptoMGLUR6, or OptoMGLUR6. So what this protein does is reverse that degeneration in the photoreceptive cells so that you can see again. They tested it in blind mice. The mice couldn't see at all. And then they were able to detect light, eventually getting to the point where they could see in moderate daylight conditions without the aid of any additional tools or therapies. This is a huge leap forward from previous treatments, and it could mean a reverse of this type of blindness. For the third one, we're going to go a little Marvel Universe here. I'm talking Wolverine and healing factors and biomedical gel. You see, a team of researchers at the University of Toronto developed this hydrogel to help stem cells heal various types of tissue. Stem cells are great at healing, but they are also pretty fragile. So the hydrogel acts like big old tough bodyguards, escorting the stem cells to their intended destination. They tested this in blind mice, and the mice were able to regain some of their eyesight. Their eyes were actually repairing themselves using the stem cells. Then they tested it in other mice that had suffered a stroke and saw that the mice were regaining some of their mobility. This could be incredible. Imagine that we all have Wolverine's healing factor because we can use this approach. These are the stories I find really inspiring about the future. It's why I'm so optimistic. Because we have so many talented and intelligent women and men working on real-world problems, finding solutions that can help potentially billions of people in the future. All right, so I have a question for you guys. What stories about the future fill you with optimism? I want to know in the comments below. As always, thank you, Toyota, for your sponsorship. And guys, if you haven't joined the Forward Thinking Think Tank, you need to do that. Hit that subscribe button. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button too while you're at it. And then check out these other amazing videos about the future right over here. <laughs>